What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got fallen broadheads and uh, we have a new decoy to unbox and do a first impression on. This thing's unique, you're going to want to see it. Uh, you've probably seen them, they've been around a while, but I have not found anything on them outside of their channel. So stay tuned, we'll unbox them, we'll weigh them, we'll see what we think, and go from there. Stay tuned. We got the new Thrive 125, different tip. You'll see this in a broadhead test shortly, but we're gonna use that today to open this box. So here we go. Okay, Thrive did its job. Test one, pass. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I believe all, it's a, this is a six pack, and I believe it's, yeah, three high head drakes, non flocked, and then three high head hens. That's what there are. Now we'll look at the, the hen first, seeing how that's what I grabbed. I'll tell you what, there she is right there. It looks a lot like our Avian X. You know, the color and the carve is pretty dang good. Uh, I will say, there's no give in this material at all. It is a hard plastic. So I'm curious to see how that'll work when it gets real, real cold. The cool thing about this decoy, this is the Springback decoys. This is the Mallard uh, version. You can see this right here. The keel looks different, doesn't it? And that's because you can pop this off. And then there's your, your weight. Now the weight is a seven ounce weight, goes right up to the decoy. And then you can actually pop it right back up, be good to go. So there's string that goes up inside. I don't know if we can see that. There it is. So that string goes up inside the decoy. And then that actually allows you to use this decoy up to 10 foot of water. So it's customizable. <clears throat> Say you're hunting a puddle or low water, you could just leave it as is. But to get more, the back of the, 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 back of the keel is a tab. Pull it, twist the weight out, and then keep this pressed up. And you can go you can go all the way to there it is right there that's 10 foot of water which is awesome for us uh, to be able to take these decoys with weights just throw them in a six slot bag and hunt some timber that we can't use our decoys in the longest anchors we have currently is seven foot and we need at least eight nine ten foot this will be key. Also, the versatility of being able to go like this. And actually, it picks up that seven ounce weight pretty good. You can go from zero to 10 foot really easy. So it's a really cool design. I mean, that's awesome. And I tell you what, I don't think that's what you wanna do. I think you wanna pull this, pull your line out, whatever you need, set it, Throw it and forget it. I really like the anchor design. It's flat, it's black, it's very easy. You could just chuck it, should lay flat. It is seven ounces. And I can see this picks up really easy and boom, you're done. So that's the Mallard Hen. And first impression is this thing is badass. Now, we got the green head. This is important, it's gotta look good. So there's the green head. So he's got little curls. It's got really good color to him. Still real hard plastic. The head's nice. Good detail, not amazing, not the best I've seen, but would 100% kill you dogs. I mean, I like, I like the position. This is about the same as the mallard hen. There we go, about the same as the mallard hen. Same thing, you got your weight system. Also, another feature I forgot to mention, you can pop this right off. You can see 
there's little latches that come in and hook around the inside of this decoy. So if you're hunting land, you could also just set these down on land so you can actually have a land decoy too. And then to put that in, you just pop it up, push it on, ain't coming off. So you can see, you can see just how versatile these decoys are. Plus up here, uh, I do believe this will help keep your hands a little warmer when you're doing your decoy spread because it gets pretty dang cold. Uh, I don't know. I think these decoys look really good. I mean, like I said, they're not stunning by no means, but I think they look good, and I'm really curious to see how, what the ducks think. Okay, so now we got my turkey weight out. We'll get this. See where the best way to hook this would be. Probably be right up in under here. Okay. Now these sit in at 1.9 pounds, but it's if they sit right at 1.9 pounds a piece. That's with the weight on. And keep in mind that is a seven ounce weight. So fairly light. You take a dozen of these. Uh, you're not looking at a lot of weight, so can't really complain with that either so I would say the uniqueness of this decoy will pay for itself now as far as I'm I seen I got these from Rogers these are the only poses like I said it's just you got your three high head drakes three high head hens um, but the one good thing is for a six pack I think it was like 80 bucks but I mean, it's hard to find another decoy that already comes rigged. You could literally take these right to the field, go hunting. You don't have to add anything to them. You unbox them, you open them, you can throw them in the water. And uh, to me, that's, that's a lifesaver. So to me, $84 for a six pack really isn't that bad because you're taking away the cost of buying additional uh, weights, you know, your Texas rigs to be able to run and uh, then to be able to do what this thing does as far as go from zero to ten feet of depth with your anchor I mean you'd have to buy different rigs for all that I mean you can't you can't put a price on that so this thing right here is a pretty good deal <laughs> but guys this is just the first impression and overlook of the Springback decoys mallard set now once again this is a six pack it's about 84 dollars on rogers uh when you add in not having to buy texas rigs you don't have to buy additional weights you have zero to ten feet of coverage or you can you can take it pop them off and set them in a field i mean realistically uh it's kind of hard to beat that value and uh it's kind of hard to beat the value these bad boys get Personally, to me, I'm probably going to glue these in. We don't field hunt mallards often, and if we do, uh, I'm not going to be taking these. We do have some full bodies. Like I said, we think moose has a dozen. We don't field hunt for ducks. It's a very unusual thing around here to hunt mallards in a field. But the only way it would be if it's flooded, so I would just have the keel on and then just keep it like this or... If it's got a little length, boom, there you go. So I'll probably glue all these in, but it is cool that you can pop it off and field hunt. Uh, if you want to check these out, I'll put a link down below. I have no affiliation with it. It doesn't help me out at all. I just, if you guys want to check these decoys out, I want to help you find them. They're uh, pretty cool what they can do. So we will be doing an in-depth review. These are going right into the, right into the decoy bag. We're going to take them out this weekend. Uh, odds are it's going to be moose and myself unless hawk can kill a deer hunting ducks so we'll see though odds are he'll probably come hunt with us so we'll it's hard to say as always we're pushing for 10,000 subscribers you guys know what we're giving away when we get there we're getting there pretty quick we're almost to 9100 now we're growing every single week and it's just awesome i can't wait to do that giveaway also we do have the tech cam reveal sk giveaway going right now so check out the channel and the mohican sneak at the time of filming this is still eligible to be one as well so we got a lot of th giveaways going on on the channel um i just 
it's our way of giving back to all the support you guys give us, allowing us to do what we do here at BCO. But guys, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of these bad boys and how they look, etc. Let me know if you've used them in the past, as these are not new decoys. I, I haven't seen anything on them, so I've been curious about them for a while. Finally pulled the trigger, so we will give you an honest review. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the actual in-depth field review after use. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Moose will be here soon. we, we got to go check the duck hole, see if it's frozen. Might have to break out the ice ripper, which that will be in another video as well. So. But guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one.